They say that the way of the warrior is to seek death. But a man can seek death anywhere, even in a far off land. So it was that I set out on a great journey, prepared to give my life to do my duty. This feller. I don't think he's from around here. Hey, you are playing less? Hmm? <laughs> I bet I can make you talk. Who, who are you? English! What? what? You think you can beat us with that overgrown knife? Let's get him, boys! Take that! Hulk! <laughs> Who are you? Don't kill me!
go. Who are you? Take that! Eat this! Don't stand still! Please don't kill me!
He blew into this town like a prairie breeze. This mysterious man from the Far East. He called himself a samurai, and his name was Gojiro Kiryu. The moment we saw him, Claudia and I knew this breeze would soon turn into a storm. What can I get ya? A glass of milk, maybe? I'm looking for this man. Just a minute there. Hold your horses there, partner. Don't go asking about that varmint if you value your life. After all, this is Goldberg's town. Well, I suggest you keep quiet, unless you want a belly full of lead. <laughs> well, what do you plan to do with him if you find him, stranger? He will taste the steel of my sword. Ooh Looks like we got ourselves a live one. We don't have any foreigners around here, so why don't you just move on? We don't want any trouble. Pardon me, mademoiselle. I heard that some foolish person has been going around sticking his nose into our business. You don't know anything about that, do you? You're just a little too late. So, it's you. You are quite a handsome man. It's a shame that you have to be killed. But I'm afraid the decision is out of my hands.
you son of a- Who are you? Well, well. It looks like I underestimated you. We shall meet again. seen a miracle. Until today, the idea of someone going up against six shooters armed only with a sword would have made me laugh. Unbelievable. Just who was this samurai anyway? Come to think of it, this could be just what I've been waiting for. I've got to keep my eye on this one. Assuming he survives, that is. Hey, stranger, if you're looking for someone, you might want to check out the ghost town near here. Is he there? Not so fast. I don't know where he is. But if you go there, you can find out just what kind of man this town leader Goldberg is. That has nothing to do with me. Don't be so sure. Goldberg seems to attract the baddest hombres you ever want to meet. Who knows? Maybe your man's there, too. I can't really say no more. You just get yourself on over to that ghost town, Mr. Samurai. You hear? You son of a bitch! <laughs> Take! 
I seen a miracle. Until today, the idea of someone going up against six shooters, armed only with a sword, would have made me laugh. Unbelievable. Just who was this samurai, anyway? Come to think of it, this could be just what I've been waiting for. I've got to keep my eye on this one. Assuming he survives, that is. Hey, stranger. If you're looking for someone, you might want to check out the ghost town near here. Is he there? Not so fast. I don't know where he is. But if you go there, you can find out just what kind of man this town leader Goldberg is. That has nothing to do with me. Don't be so sure. Goldberg seems to attract the baddest hombres you ever want to meet. Who knows? Maybe your man's there too. But I can't really say no more. You just get yourself on over to that ghost town, Mr. Samurai. You hear? Oh, <laughs> 
I thought, but I've enjoyed myself enough for one day. We shall meet again, Samurai Boy. A samurai, huh? Hm. Things are getting interesting. You think you can beat him, Ratto? <laughs> That's the kind of answer I like to hear. Call this a ghost town, but they're wrong. This is Hope Town. It's our town, and it's always been filled with our laughter. 
That's why the children and I will never leave. No matter what, we won't leave until the children's mothers and fathers come home safely. At least, well, that's what we always thought, but sometimes things are so hard. It was just when we were at our lowest that he came into town. There was a deep sadness in his strong, dark eyes. He said that he was a samurai. I wonder what could have made him take such a long journey from his homeland. Welcome to the ghost town. This used to be a fine little town, but Goldberg and his men kidnapped all the adults to work in his blasted mines. So the only ones living here now are ghosts, outlaws, and... Come on over here! <laughs> you look lonely, senorita. How about a little company? That's Ann Barrett. She's a brave young girl who looks after the children who were left behind. They're the last ones living here. Hmm? You're gonna help her? You know you won't get anything out of it, yet you do it anyway. Well, good luck. Who do you think you are? Nobody gets in our way. You think a sissy boy like you can beat us? Ah! <laughs> 
It's all right, Joey. Thank you so much for saving me. But why did you do it? No one else will stand up to Goldberg. It was my duty. Anything less is cowardice. What? Samurai boy here believes that there's such a thing as justice in this world. I guess you could say he's an idealist. Enough of this banter. My employer, the Honorable Franklin Goldberg, has sent me to give you this invitation. Will you honor us with your presence? Will there be many more outlaws like you there? I really must object to being called an outlaw. But Mr. Goldberg does have a great many men in his employ. Very well. I'll go. My dear Mr. Samurai, I am an open-minded man. You are a visitor to our country, and we're no doubt confused as to the way we do things here. So I will overlook the great rudeness that you have shown me and my associates. I am a man of equality and fair judgment. So no matter what inferior race you belong to, if you are strong, I will find a use for you as I build my perfect, orderly utopia here on the Western Plains. That's right. I have decided to give you the chance to enter my utopia. If you want to take advantage of my generous offer, come to my residence, Franklin Goldberg. Rando. Never heard of him. What do you want with him? If he's not here, I have no business with you. Wait just a minute. You leave when Mr. Goldberg tells you to. It's all right, John. I think we have Mr. Samurai's answer. That was a waste of time. Take care of him. Yes, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 
madre de Dios. <tose>
I seem to be coming down with a cold. <coughs> I guess I'll let you off this time. That samurai up and went to the Goldberg residence before I could stop him. Wonder who that man in the wanted poster is. What should I do? I've only known him for a short while, but I know that samurai is not the kind of man to go to work for someone like Goldberg. But Goldberg ain't likely to just let him leave if he refuses. Alright, I'll go help him. I hope you appreciate this, samurai. You. Come on! Take this! Take that! 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 Take that!
I can't let anybody disturb the peace in this town. As long as I wear this badge, I'll continue my fight against evil. That's right. I'm the sheriff in these parts. Sheriff Donald's the name. I hear that some foreigner has been causing trouble and even threatened Mr. Goldberg's life. I can't allow it. Thanks to Mr. Goldberg, there's a big reward on this foreigner's head. So many of our honest citizens are keeping an eye out for me. I've been waiting for this. A chance to protect my town against evil. Prepare yourself, criminal. With the help of the good people of this town, I will defeat you. Now wait just a minute. What do you mean, the good people of this town? These jackals are all bounty hunters working for Goldberg. Step aside, Ralph. I only fight criminals. All right, men. Let's bring him to justice. Oh, 
madre de... Madre de... Come 
もらい受けるわけよ Here I come, samurai boy. Wait a second! 
You're a little confused. You should think long and hard about who your real enemy is. My real enemy? But Ratto said that the samurai was a bad man. I'm sure of it. Ratto? Is he here? Where is he? In the saloon. Hey, Gojiro. This Ratto just might be the man you're looking for. <laughs> Brother Rando died the day he gave up his sword. I am Rado, the wandering gammon now. Gojuro, why do you think I killed all of my friends and came to this faraway country? Swords cannot beat guns. So much for your precious Bushido, brother. The samurai are leading Japan straight to its destruction. If we want to save our homeland, we have to fight fire with fire and use the enemy's weapons against them. Until you understand that, you'll never be able to defeat me. Stop! Rado told me everything. There's no need for two brothers to try and kill each other. Gojiro has his reasons. He must kill me. But why? To satisfy his samurai pride. <laughs> what a joke. Onore! Stay 
was going to help everyone, and he went... said that if we were good boys and girls, our mamas and daddies would come back home. They still haven't come back. I know what the problem is. No matter how sad we are, everyone's too afraid of Goldberg to help us. So I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna go to the mine and, and rescue everybody. I'm gonna fight, just like Sam Rye. Hold on, just a minute there, partner. This ain't no place for kids. What happened, Donald? I was doing a little investigating into Mr. Goldberg when this kid came running up and... Let me go! I gotta rescue everybody! Aren't you scared? <laughs> Not at all! Don't lie to me! Yeah, I'm scared. Of course I am. But I have to save them. I'm gonna fight the bad guys, just like you. You'd make a fine samurai. Leave this to me. Donald, you look after Joey. Take that! Uh, eat this!
Seems like another worker ant. 
has come to join us. What do you think, Keeler? He looks a little uppity, but if we train him, he might come in handy. We'll never make it out of here alive! <laughs> Thanks to that samurai, I've finally got some hard evidence. Now we can make our move. could any human being do something so cruel? Just after the samurai went after Joey, Goldberg's servants, those creatures known as Faceless, came. They tied us up and set explosives next to us, all to try and get at that samurai. But even so, he fought for us. He fought bravely to save our lives. Do something about those bombs. I'll take care of this.
Yeah. <laughs> 
good. Death fun. Death. Help us! We're out of time. <gasps> it's going to blow. You've gone too far, Goldberg. As sheriff, I swear I will bring you to justice. How could I have been such a fool? If it wasn't for Samurai Boy, I'd still be blindly following Goldberg. I guess now I'm a Samurai too. A Samurai would never give in to evil. Ah, Samurai Sheriff Donald will bring Goldberg to justice. So I thought. Turned out I got captured in the sense to be hanged. Oh, is there no justice in this world? Even if I die, justice will live on. <laughs> Even a fool like you should know not to go up against us alone. He's not at all. Take that move! Take that! 
Samurai boy! It's time we put an end to this. I will tell you when and where very soon. Until then. Kojiro Kitu, 
Watching you fight gave me the same feeling I get when I look at a Rembrandt painting. Truly, it is a shame to destroy such a thing of beauty. But alas, my beliefs are too different from yours. As much as it pains me, our association must end. I will be waiting in the wilderness at the outskirts of town at midnight. Come alone. Two men risking everything in a desperate duel to the death. What could be more beautiful? Jean-Jacques Rizal. I see you came alone, just as I asked, Samurai boy. I like that about you. However... Please, don't think me a coward. After all, this duel is between you and my entire organization, so it's only fair. Move! Ah! 
to meet you. He's waiting at the saloon. Why do you two have to fight? I don't understand all this samurai business. A samurai lives and dies for honor. That is what it means to be samurai. Beautiful. But so sad. I don't ever understand, man. Two seem so much alike to me. They've been hurt so badly, and yet they can only find solace in more fighting. Rando, Gojiro, both so awkward and stubborn, but I guess that's what it means to be a samurai. Their days may be numbered, but for now, they live their lives the only way they know how. As for me, the only thing I can do is wait. Wait for them. いっぱいやるかゴージローバーボンというこの国の酒だなかなかいけるぞ無用だからお前はダメなのだ異国の酒を飲め飯を食らえ女たちを抱けそうすればわからんことがある日本でゴールドバーグに敗れたあの日俺は悟った押し寄せる時代の波を切ることなどできんとだから俺はそれは違うぞ兄者何時代を切るのは刀ではない刀を振るう己の心
いかなる難局にも打ち勝てる心こそ侍の魂ではないか<笑>兄者日本へ戻ってくれそして父母の墓前にて潔く切腹を<笑>ゴージロ大きな男になったなだが俺はもはや邪魔が入ったゴジロ俺は砦にて待つお前の信じる侍の心なるものを父に迎えて示してみせよ兄者
good. Death. Death. Idiot. He's gone to attack Goldberg's fortress all by himself. I was planning on telling him my true identity and offering to help. You see, I'm Colonel Ralph Norman. I have top secret orders from the President to spy on Goldberg and his activities. Thanks to that samurai, we have enough evidence to start a military operation against Goldberg. Now he's gone off on his own. Damn it. Just try not to get yourself killed, Samurai. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Against this new age with a sword, the heart of a samurai. But just look around you. You're hopelessly outnumbered. You're destined to fail. Do you still plan on clinging to your outdated ideas? Very well. Then show me. Show me what the true samurai is made of, Gojiro. Oh, 
Why? Come on!
I may not have been able to call in the army, but thanks to Donald's help, the people of this town have risen up against Goldberg. They're all fighting with us. Thanks to you, they had the courage to stand up to him. It's our town, and we have to protect it ourselves. 
Exactly. Leave Goldberg's men to us. You have bigger fish to fry. Mr. Samurai! Please, be careful. Those fools! Don't they know how much I've contributed to the development of this town? And yet they allow themselves to be stirred by petty emotion. No matter. I have made some mistakes this time and I freely admit that. But I know that this defeat is only a small detour on the road to ultimate victory. I'm sure my friends in Congress will welcome my new plan. But first... I must teach that stray dog of a samurai a lesson. I'll teach him what happens to dogs that bite. A samurai? Ha! Don't make me laugh.
Who are you? Why do? Why do? I've come for the sword. The house is my brother's spirit. His spirit? Ridiculous. It's only a sword. That's the kind of thinking that's going to lead your country to ruin. I thought your brother understood that. But I guess he was nothing more than a backward barbarian after all. I won't allow you to talk like that about my brother. Or about the father. Won't allow what you say. Very well. I'll have to show you myself. I'll show you that a sword can never beat a gun, and the weak must always cower in front of the strong.
Defeated? Me? No. This is wrong. This must be corrected for the future of my country. You will die along with my utopia, samurai. back to its old self. Ralph! Yes, everyone's working hard to make this town even better than before. My bar will be opening soon. I expect you to be a regular customer. Why, sure. <laughs> hey, isn't that... Hey, everybody! Guess what? I'm going to Japan. That's great, Donald. Congratulations! Thanks! I'm going to Japan and training to be a samurai. I'm gonna be the strongest, most valiant samurai ever. How nice. The sky certainly seems blue today. Maybe it's because we're finally rid of Goldberg's evil. There's only one thing left. I think we all believe he's still alive somewhere. Yes. Thanks to you, smiles and laughter have returned to our town. Nobody calls this a ghost town anymore. This is our town. Hope town. I believe that you're still alive. I'm sure you're somewhere fighting to help people in trouble. One lone samurai. Oh, my God. 